Fox 2's Dave Spencer joins us live with more from the owner of that shop. Dave. Yeah, the owner of the shop, he happened to be there at the time. You'll hear from him in just a minute. But officers from the 12th Precinct, where I'm standing now, were able to arrive within seconds. That's because it all happened just a few blocks away. When they arrived, they took the tow truck driver, his passenger, and the driver of that second car all into custody. But this is far from being an open and shut case. A red tow truck turns the wrong way on Woodward into oncoming traffic and collides with a white sedan near Seven Mile. The impact sends both vehicles careening out of control. We heard a bunch of crashing. We went outside and the woman and the guy, the truck's upside down, cars over on its side, and the woman gets out of the truck saying he's shooting at us, he's shooting at us. Police are looking into reports that this crash stems from a road rage shooting. However, at this point, Detroit police haven't found any evidence of such an incident. What they do have evidence of is a head-on crash and a business in need of a rebuild. It just sucks, you know, that guy, gentleman next door put a lot of money in that building over there. It's a shame, you know. Yeah. He just finished it, actually. The store belongs to Hassan Fayed. We were just out back sitting down and I thought the whole building was coming down, actually. He says he immediately came around to see a tow truck upside down in his store. Remarkably, a man and a woman got out of that tow truck with no apparent injuries. Witnesses say the driver of the white sedan had an injured leg. Cops responded, did the phenomenal job within a minute. Nobody, nobody was able to take off. They arrested both gentlemen and took the young lady into uh, ambulance. A closer inspection of the damage shows the crashing truck narrowly misses propane tanks kept near the front door. I'm like, whoa, whoa, we're in the wrong neighborhood. Life's too short. Three people could have been dead today. So now police need your help. They're asking for anybody who may have witnessed the crash or anything leading up to the crash or has video that could uh, call back up the claims that this possibly was a road rage shooting to please come forward, give that information and that video to police so they could piece this all together. Reporting live in Detroit, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Yes, with those propane tanks, this could have ended much differently. Dave, though, are police looking for anyone else at this point? At this point, all they're looking for is information. They believe they have all the parties responsible. Again, anyone that does happen to have that information, please come forward. All right, Dave, thank you for that.